Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome yeah. to our virtual press yeah. conference for the 2021 virtual Spice Island Cultural Festival. I have with me today our president, Byron Cameron, the honorary council for Grenada in Montreal, Mr. Theodore Blaze, and our organization treasurer, Mrs. Karen Park Bernard. We invite you to join us on our YouTube channel and Facebook for the second virtual Spice Island Cultural Festival with a celebration of Grenada, Caracou, and Piti Martinique. That's on Saturday, July the 10th, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Our theme this year is a celebration of life with food, fashion, music, and culture. My name is Gemma Rayburn Baines, the Vice President of the Spice Island Cultural Day Association of Quebec. And right now we are going to hear from our Honorary Council, Mr. Theodore Blaze. Greetings and welcome to all of you, to you all. I bring greetings with the right Honorable Dr. Keith Mitchell, Prime Minister of Grenada, Caracol and Piti Martinique, and our Canadian Prime Minister, the Honorable Justin Trudeau, and other surprise guests. And now let's listen to our treasurer, Ms. Karen Papna. As many of you know, the sound of steel is synonymous with our Grenadian culture. And it's my awesome pleasure to invite each and every one of you to feel the rhythm of the islands right in your backyard, played by the New Dimension Steel Orchestra. And it's going to be fun, Karen. We are going to enjoy Definitely. this. Definitely. And of course, we want to bring on our president, a for, uh, well, not a former Calypsonian, but uh, the reigning, one of the reigning Calypsonians in Montreal, who doubles as our president, Mr. Byron Cameron. Well, thank you very much, Gemma. And I just want to let the people know out there that apart from everything that has been mentioned, we have a list of musicians, we have Calypso singers, and we also have some very interesting folk dancers. These people would give to us and give to you an idea of the richness and diversity of our culture in the Spice Island. Thank you very much. See you. Great, great. We have some Calypso singers. Maybe you can tell us who they are, Byron. Well, actually, we have some of the top bards in Grenada. We have Squeezy, who is a dynamic performer. Yes, he is. Who has toured throughout the Caribbean and outside of North America, too. We have Scholar, a nine-time Calypso monarch, along with the Beast who is about a three or four times Calypso monarch himself also. And combined, it's a program of fun, entertainment, laughter, and some historical facts too, in culture. That and we, that's great. And you know what? We also will have with us Mexi, the messenger, who Most wrote that. our theme song, Celebrating Life. And he'll be performing it live. So that's going to be fabulous. We also will have six sensational fashion designers uh, who will display their ready to wear to couture on location in Grenada and also Montreal and Toronto. These seven designers, because we cannot forget Fee Noel, who is international, She'll be showcasing some of her great and fabulous fashion designs. We are looking also here now at Kim, Kim Francis, who will be showing again at the festival. So fashion, Grenada cu culture, wonderful. You cannot miss this production. And uh, Karen, tell us a little bit more about spicing up your life with the food of Grenada. Oh yes, well, we all know that Grenada is well known for its spices. 
And so we have two of our, lo of our local chefs, Chef Leo Charles and Lennox and Twine, and they are going to prepare some spicy dishes for us. We will also, we're also in for a treat with some of our local Grenadian chef in Grenada, Chef Tiger Jones and Brian Benjamin of BB's Crabback. And they will also prepare some very wonderful local Grenadian dishes, including our national dish oil. So it's going to be food, food, and more food. Oh my God, I can't wait to learn how to cook oil down. Oh my God, wonderful. People are going to enjoy this, Karen. Oh, and yeah. doggies, you are doing a great interview with someone very special to us. Can you tell us about it? Yes, well, um, I'll be doing an interview with the Supreme Calypso King of the World. The man, the one and only Slinger Francisco, known in the Calypso world as the mighty Sparrow. That would be a very exciting interview with the Sparrow and I. And we'll also be celebrating with Sparrow his 86th birthday on that very special occasion. Wow. Sparrow is. Wonderful, wonderful. And you know what? We're also going to be interviewing Fee Noel, who is an international fashion designer, and also Yvette Noel Sure. She will, is in Grenada. She was in Grenada, and we were able to interview her to let us know what she likes about Grenada and why Grenada rocks. So that will be fantastic. It's a fantastic interview. Ted, we know you're from Karakou, and we know you're just dying to tell us about the Karakou representation at the festival. So take it away, Ted. The only problem here is, do I have enough time to talk about this unique music cabaret of Karakou and Piti Matni? I'm talking about the Karakou Culture String Band Association. They are bringing up the youth from Grenada, teaching them to keep this vibrant music within us and with us for centuries to come. You're going to be treated this beautiful string band music. I'm just ecstatic, and I'm sure you're gonna love it, and you will want to go to Karakou next year <laughs> to hear it for yourself. Once we get through it of this COVID problem, you will want to go to Karakou next year to hear this and see them live in action. I promise you, this is gonna be a treat. And you know what, Ted? We also have the Capital Drummers that will be involved with our river festival. We're doing a river festival, showcasing food and drumming and dancing. So it's going to be so exciting. And you know, we cannot uh, end this without having the one and only, uh, you wouldn't guess who it is. Yes, it is. It is the doggies and who is, as I said before, doubles as our president of the Spice Island Cultural Festival. So Doggies is going to showcase his other talent of singing Calypso uh, with his performance, Diaspora Calling. So you don't want to miss this. Before yes. we go to Karen, I should remind you that do not forget our dance party. At the last hour, we're going to have a real dance party with our local DJs playing fantastic music. I so know, DJ Kersey yes, DJ 2020. We're going to have some great music so we all can get down and lime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and on a more serious note, we have Karen who wants to tell us about our GoFundMe page. Oh, yes, most definitely, Gemma. You know, we're all celebrating. It's an exciting event. We're all happy to showcase our beautiful island to the world. But apart from this, we cannot forget our less fortunate children. And this year, our organization is happy to partner with three of Grenada's local charities, Reach Within, the Father Maligan Home for Boys, and the Belly Home for Children, who are doing an awesome job providing and assisting the less fortunate children in Grenada. So 
And this endeavor, we have created our GoFundMe campaign. And the name of this campaign is called Helping the Spice Island Kids. And as I said, it was created to assist those institutions who are continuing to do a marvelous job assisting our needy children. So we invite all our patrons to go to GoFundMe and search for Helping the Spice Island Kids to show your support to these children. And as a bonus, as a bonus, each and every one of you who are donating $25 or more, you in for a treat. You have a chance to win some fabulous gifts and hotel stays in Grenada. So please, we encourage you to please visit our page and support our children. Thank you. Very, very good and such a good cause to help the kids in Grenada. Go to our fun, GoFundMe page, Helping the Spice Island Kids. And of course, we do have a children section in the festival where we will have the kids singing and dancing. We also have the West Can drummers and also Kevin Dolan of Grenada will be doing his cartoon on a Nancy story. So that will be fine. And gather all the kids, especially in the first hour, so that they can enjoy what we have set up for the children. The Spice Island Cultural Festival is now in its fourth year. It will indeed make you feel the rhythm of the Caribbean without leaving your living room. On July 10th at 3 p.m., we invite you all to lime with us virtually. One more time, join us in the celebration of life and have a great time. See you there. Like I say, a very pleasant thank you to everyone who supports us. <clears throat> We're very grateful for your support. Take care. See you on the 10th of July, Spice Isle Cultural Day Festival Association. One love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ooh. Bam, yeah. If you cut me, you go see blood And if you squeeze me, you go feel the love We are one people